Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler. I'm your host, Wally, and today I've got my nephew Carlos with me, taking a nice little vacation, doing some Austin top 10 things, such as the Austin Bat Cruise, which is a definite must if you come to Austin. The Bat Cruise takes place at the Colorado River or Town Lake, whichever you prefer to call it in between the Congress Bridge and the Lamar Bridge. You get to go under some of the underpasses, which is where the bats usually sleep during the day. This is the Lamar Bridge though. So the bats wouldn't be in there, they only congregate over at the Congress Bridge. But one of my favorite things about this tour is that it takes you through the river and the river isn't that deep so if it flips over you can just stand up and walk back to the shore for the most part but it takes you along the shoreline and you can see all of the Austin skyline it's probably the best way to see it just going to the one of the parks across the river isn't that good in my opinion you definitely need to take a boat tour and if you're taking a boat tour might as well be the back tour that way you can see what it looks like during the day and the night now this was a pretty rainy foggy day that we had this but the bats come out whether it rains or not I ain't afraid of no rain so we decided you know what we're gonna come out there anyway and be like the bats and check things out my nephew Carlos was in town for a couple days visiting his favorite uncle, so we decided to just hang out, take a look at some of the Austin sites, and I invited him to come see some of the bats. And there's the Con Congress Avenue Bridge. That's where the bats live. That's where they sleep. That's where they come back to every single year, just to hang out, have babies, nurse them, that kind of stuff. And a swamp boat. I envy the people in the swan boat, boat. But as you can see, it's it's an awesome. It'd be awesome if, if there was more sunlight. And there are the people who are getting ready to see the bats. They fly over these trees to try to keep safe. But I'm a huge bat lover. Ever since Bela Lugosi came into my life, so I've been very anxious and happy every single time I go see bats and eventually nightfall will come by and they'll use the lights to sort of see if the bats are coming out the red light doesn't harm the bats or anything there's plenty of boats waiting along with you and little by little they'll start falling into the sky and they'll start flying first along the bridge and then over the trees to sort of stay away from predators to trick them into thinking oh there's no bats here no bats at all but in the meantime there's millions and millions of them just coming out and flying out into the night and eating up to five times their own weight in mosquitoes and bugs and creepy creatures and like I said, the best part of the bat tour is the views. I like looking at all the other boats and the Austin skyline and just seeing how awesome it is. Austin does have a very pretty skyline. It's changed a lot in the past 22 years since I first got here. And I like that they've chosen the theme of outlining their buildings with colors. Some of them have their own different little strip of neon, which is pretty cool. I approve. And the boat takes you back after the sun has gone down and most of the bats have gone away. It's a, definitely a, one of the top 10 things to do if you're ever in Austin. So make sure to go do it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.